What is up team? Welcome back to the work method and welcome to day 13 of the Max Out program. We have a conditioning workout on the books for today. Let's hop into our warm up and then we will jump into our first EMOM. We got a three minute MRAP warm up of five body weight squats, five push ups, and five reverse lunges each leg. So for three minutes on the clock, oh, we got something hopping in here. So for three minutes on the rotating clock, we're going five body weight squats. Oh, legs are sore. Nice and slow down. Then we got five push ups. So we're going to be on your hands, full push up, down, up. You can do the push up on your knees if you need to. And then we're going to go five reverse lunges each leg. Try to go down nice and slow. Let that knee kiss the ground. Let's do it, team. Three minutes on the clock. Cycle through that as many rounds as you can at a nice, easy pace just to get loose. Get some blood flow to those muscles. Get the heart rate up. Get warm. It's cold out here today. It's like 30 degrees. Push up for five. Go right back to the top. Five body weight squat. Come on, one minute, guys. <laughs> Second slot, guys. Three, two, one. All right, let's do it. So, like I said, we got a five minute EMOM, our 15 minute EMOM. And EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. So, each minute you have a dedicated exercise and a dedicated number of reps. In our first minute, we're doing 12 dumbbell snatches. You can swipe past the first little list. I keep forgetting to update that part. I updated the rep tracking part. So snatches, lock out overhead, nice and slow down to the shoulder. We're gonna let that dumbbell face you, drop down between your legs. Use your legs and hips. We're going 12 on the right arm in the first minute. Switch hands, 12 on the left arm in the second minute. I think I'm going with a 50 pounder there I did last week. We're increasing one rep. Then we got a pistol squat to a bench. So you want something to sit down on. Other foot is out. We're going nice and slow. Sit, drive back up. If you can't do that, you can go down on one leg, up on two, or you can use the other foot to kind of assist you. But the right leg is doing 90% of the work. 
And that's the third minute and the fourth minute because we're going right left. And then we have 12 burpees in the last minute. So burpees, we're going here, down, up, stand up, jump for 12. Let me check something. Actually, there's no, there's no uh, optional push-up, I should say, in the burpees, because we are doing push-ups later in the workout. So if you really struggle with push-ups, you may not want to burn yourself out. I'm going to do push-ups for the burpees. We have any questions, guys? I'm going 50 on the snatch. I'm going body weight on the pistol squat and body weight on the uh, burpee, obviously. All right, let's go. We're going in 10 seconds, team. Five minutes through and then we go right through again. The only rest breaks are the remainder of the minutes after you finish your reps. Two, one, and work. Let's go. 12 snatches on the right arm. Dip, lock out, nice and slow down, reset. Finish your 12, and then we're going left arm in eight. Three, one, and it worked. Tougher, have to go straight from burpees into them. Pistol squat, 10 seconds. Three, one, work. Nice and slow down. Remainder of the minute. Roll left leg. You can also add a dumbbell here if you want to make it harder. Challenging enough for me, legs are sore. Today is not about like lifting as heavy as you can. It's conditioning, so we're trying to move. Two, left leg. Same deal. Slow, cut. Fifteen seconds, guys. Ten. We got twelve burpees in five, two, one, and work. Come on.
You got 12 seconds. If you're not finishing with about 10 seconds left, cut your reps down a bit. We're back to snatches. 12 reps, one. And it work. Should get harder. We got 15 seconds. Left arm. We're on round two or three here, guys. Three, one. Snatches on the left. Two down, one to go on those snatches. We got pistol squats, right leg, and work. Slow descent, kind of to plop. Switching legs in 15 seconds, team. Left leg. Three. One. And work. Walk it off, guys. Twelve, ten 10 seconds. We got 12 burpees. Get ready. One more round after this. Controlled descent. All the way down on the push-ups. One, work. Jump at the top. Breathe. Well, 
10 seconds, team. Three, one, snatches in the right arm. Let's do it, last round. Exhale, use the legs, lock out, slow. Like a 10. Oh. <clears throat> Woo. 15 seconds, team. Woo. Deep breath. Heart rate's at about 160. Two. One. Work. Make sure you're locking out overhead, pausing for a split second, controlling. Down to the shoulder. seconds team five three one let's work slow touch on everything. And we got a couple minutes to rest. Oh, no, burpees. Burpees, guys. Sorry. I wanted to skip these mentally. No, I didn't. I just forgot. Subconsciously, maybe.
Alright, now we're right. Alright, so we got another five minute team off. The first move is a dumbbell clean and press. So it's a little different than the snatch in that we pop up to the shoulders with two dumbbells and then we strict press overhead, come back down, reset, dip, drive. So 12 reps, I think. Let me double check my rep scheme here. Yep, 12 guys. Then we got um, 12 deficit push-ups. So let me go over to the clean first. Dumbbells are at your side. You're gonna dip at the knees and hips. Explode, catch them on the shoulder, press overhead, reset on the shoulder, back down. 12 reps. Then, let me give us some more rest here because I gotta talk. We got deficit push-ups for 12. So what that's gonna look like is you're gonna have two dumbbells on the ground. If you have hex dumbbells, you can use anything to lift your hands up. You can also do these regular, if you, don't, if you can't do deficit, we're going all the way down, pausing for a second with the chest right off the ground, driving up. You can do those on your knees if you need to too. Then, we got 24 alternating split squat jumps. So body weight, left hand forward, right leg forward. We're going down, knee kiss to the ground, explode, land on the front leg, alternating. 12 each leg for 24. Then we got 12 lying leg lifts or hanging leg lifts. So if you, don't, if you have a bench, you can do it on the bench. If you don't, you can do this on the floor. You're gonna reach overhead on the bench, hands at the side on the floor. Leg straight is harder, knees bent is easier. You're gonna try to come back, get the hips up, nice and slow back down for 12 reps. If you have a bar you can hang from, same thing, leg straight, harder, knees bent is easier. Bring those knees up. Try to really control the descent. That's our fourth movement. The last one is plank hip lifts and we're going for 17 reps there. So you're gonna be on your elbows in a plank position, excuse me. Think about tucking the tailbone towards the chin, slowly let the thighs come down, touch the ground, squeeze back up. <clears throat> Any questions, guys? Are you good? I'll remind you of rep schemes as we go through. You wanna to try to use the same weight you used last week. This one, the only weight is on the clean and press. I'm gonna go with 30s. We're gonna go in about 15 seconds. I need to catch my breath for a second. That's too much talking, can't get it down. Five, three, one, and work team. 12 reps, clean and press. We got three rounds through. Dip, explode, press, reset. Exhale. If you start to really fatigue and can't do strict, you can get a little bit of drive from the legs like a push press. We're going push ups in two. And work, deficit. 12 reps. Up team. 12 reps. Then we got 24 alternating split squat jumps, 12 each leg. If you can't do those, you can just do regular reverse lunges, 12 each side. And work. Load, explode. 24.
24. Leg lifts, lying or hanging, depending on what you have. I'm going hanging. It's a little harder. You got gravity working the whole way against you. Try to get those hips up off the bench or the floor if you're doing it there. Three, one, and work. Seconds, team. Three, one, and work. Tuck the tailbone towards your chin. Slow down. Touch the thighs. Squeeze. Back to the top in 12. We got 12 clean and presses. <clears throat> Come on. Five, same weight ideally. One, and work. Dip at the hips and legs. Drop. You don't have to go super low. It's almost like a jump. Dip the elbows under. Seven seconds, we got push-ups. Three, one, and work. Alternating split squat jumps. 24. Come on, team. We're in that home stretch of hump day. About one and a half rounds left. Three, two, 12 each side. Let's go.
Leg raises. Lying or hanging, 12 reps. 20 seconds, team. I raised that about 150. Come on, 10 seconds. Three, one, and work. Hip lifts coming up. Come on. Seven. Three. Two. And work. Come on, core tight. Squeeze nice and slow down. Drive up. Seven seconds, team. We got clean and presses. Last round, team. Let's go. And work. 12 reps. Good form. Full lockout, reset. Think about going down with the dumbbells and not swinging them back so much. So when I drop down, I'm dipping low and then driving up, not back behind my body. Four more. 20 seconds. Oh. 
15 seconds. Oh, leg raises. In five. Three. One. And work. Those plank hip lifts. In five, three, one, and work. Seconds to finish. Five, two, one, and done, team. Awesome work, guys. That is day 13 of the Max Out program in the book. We are back tomorrow with another full body and Friday with a full body. I hope to see you guys there. You're killing it. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.